position to be able to really control the pace on the attack side of things. You saw Alexis having that fault line primed, ready to tee up Fluorescent on those deep lines. No satchels on this raise right now, though, so she's going to have to run in like the rest of them. Get stopped right away on first contact. The wall comes up, and you're just cycling what you have. When the wall is going to come down, the molly is going to come up. That's going to slow things down a lot, while Team Liquid are also moving forward to take control down towards middle. Yeah, and as soon as Shopify get the tell, as soon as they identify what these defenses are, that Viper showing right then gives Shopify the tell, so they turn back. They're just going to buy some time. They need to capitalize off this Cypher being in this position. They want to rendezvous back towards mid. Fake oh, smoke's look. being thrown and it never knew Georgina's down, down at the mid. bottom, but it gets traded instantly by Mel. Also falling back is going to be Daiki, who had the information on that flash. Sarah moving forward within the B site. Snake on the ground, but she doesn't care. The pickup on the Iza. The B site is slowly opened up as a Trailblazer moves forward. But Shopify are finally closing in and are looking for the plant. But Sarna trying to cut the rotate out from the market side. Swings out once again, head to head against Sarah. And the cage comes up to allow the plant to happen. Yeah, and that paint shell definitely helps Mel as well. Four versus three, four Shopify side, and you can see they're just pivoting. All members grouping back into this main. They want to demand that Team Liquid tap the spike here. They want to use their util. Util indeed. Two flashes of available from Daiki. Paint shells from Bastardo. There's that first flash and the paint shells. Now we're swinging across for TL. Back to a 2v2. But Zero lands that shot and it's up to Noya. The tap on the spike. Noya has to hurry up. It's now a halfway. The 1v1 connects up to the shot. But Zero is there. Three in the round. The defuse and Team Liquid with the crowd behind them. Get the pistol. What a turnaround coming through here for Liquid. Shopify had everything they needed going into that site not only did they find the entry but they were in position to make this post plant a doable thing but that paint shell coming out as Bastarda makes her way into this B site I mean it just made everyone flood and leave their positions Sarah only going one for one there and Noya she felt like she had to peek there she had no idea whether they were sticking the spike there or not Beautiful stuff. That chamber coming out to play here, Vans. Three kills to start off in the pistol. And coming out to play with the Vandal. TP in range. The jump spots. The ADS. The first blood onto Fluorescent. And that's a key component. Out for Shelf Rebellion. Strat denied once again as Bezerra on to Sarah. Oh, we're getting so close to the Tour de Force. Game five. Tour de Force. The snipers. I mean, we kept talking about managing your money on the defenses, but Bizarra doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Noya just gets wiped clean out, and it's just Mel. She's got the spike, but Team Liquid, they're all hunting. At the end of this round, all five members just grouped up once again. And that happened because from this start, each player on their positions were just kind of slowly pushing, slowly constricting. And as that info came through, it just riled them up more and more. These shots from Bizarra are clean. That's a confidence booster, and that's what you want on your chamber to start these defenses. Oh, nice little save there. It was almost a hand <laughs> to a fist, and got the handshake in the end there from Coach Camino and smooth. Palestra. Smooth as butter. And also as smooth are the hits coming out from Team Liquid on the defense, but not this time around. Fluorescent's already on the top. Control towards the AR. Iza falls, and that's a lot of due till it gets denied towards the A site to delay as much as they can. She's so quick, but Starta wants to use this smoke to her advantage, looking for some sort of scrim timing, but Shopify are so aware. Noya. Making Bastarde respect this smoke, but 3 2 1 together. Alexis a didn't slow. want to respect it though. It's a one for one. It's a little oh, no slow, but the bonus is still pretty decent for Team Liquid. The flank coming from behind, the timing capitalized by Bezerra. We have yet to move within for a plant for Shopify. All three players now pushing towards the spawn. Yeah, they feel like they can't get the spike down. Daiki's only got a Spectre in her hand, so she decides she doesn't like it. Switching off to the Sheriff, wants to pop some shots and use this wall. To her advantage, still one bird as well. And Sarah has no prowler, so they have to face check it. The timing on that one, what a shot wow. on the first! The flash to deny the counter out from Shopify. Numbers dwindling down as Shopify now has to commit for a run towards the B site. But just around the corner is Georgina. Yeah, and you saw Mel passing the spike over. She wants to make a play. She's got double TP still in play. Drop that smoke as she wants to find an opening. Find the no, for her team, but that timing is unfortunate. Joe Gina gets a freebie. 
Sarah now. Three versus one. First contact, and there's the swing. Oh, oh, and the third one. It was, didn't look that clean for the swings, but Daiki is there for the save. Those are some aim labs shots coming out for Sarah. They were so crisp, and that is so damn difficult to do, but Daiki able to at least stabilize and. Man, this round, it started the moving pieces for Liquid Side. We mentioned it, Bizarro on that quick flank, it just completely caught Noya off guard. And that's not something you usually say. Usually, Cyphers have so much information, so many trips and cameras to hold those back lines, but Noya was completely caught off guard. And kudos to Bizarro for finding an opening like that. And now, that Tour de Force coming out into play again just strengthening and bolstering up those economies instant paranoia can't get position is Bezerra with the total default so she has to play a little bit further back now slowly creeping forward as the rest of shopify they decide to take the matter in their own hands for the pace back towards the elbow back towards the connector Bezerra gets the pick onto alexis a counter paranoia up from the defense just to hold shopify back even smokes stops them in their tracks and that three player holdout from tl will not allow shopify to even move closer to the side of a yeah, Bastarde played this round so well. This choke point is all hers, but she has no more utility to back her up. At least Georgina comes through with a clutch smoke timing. They're waiting for a peek here, maybe off the timing off the smoke. There's no flash to support, but the crossfire is set up here from Team Liquid. Now as the smoke disappears, surprise! There's that one for one, the swing it from Georgina. One Two players to fall. Up to Noya, all by herself. Flanked behind by the Duel of Fels, Backstab, and Team Liquid are now up at four. Bastarde did so much work. That small choke point is exactly where you want your raise to feel confident, to feel like this is the choke point I'm not going to give up. And she used all of her utility beautifully. And with Jojina in her back pocket to just wipe out and clean up like this, it's a great defensive hold here for Liquid. And for Shopify, they've got another healthy purchase, and this is about that time when their ultimates are coming online. You can see Sarah's is online now. Mel also in play. That's good with the smoke here. Tolaba starting to move forward. Prowler's gonna clear her out, satcheling away. Paranoia also thrown, so that's a lot of utility being used. Nightfall available on the attack. Wallbang tagging Fluorescent. But you can definitely see it from Shopify Rebellion. They were trying to do something with Sarah's Nightfall. And they heard the satchel. They heard the satchel, so they know that the raise is in this area. And Bastardi has been choosing correctly in the beginnings of these rounds, just completely stopping Shopify from gaining any control that they're looking for in the beginnings. Team Liquid and Bastardi, they're deciding to just stand their ground, but yeah. Shopify have reacted well. Yeah. They're I don't okay. like how grouped they are, though. I don't, I don't like how Noya is sticking with the pack. And as you mentioned, Team Liquid staying towards that B side, it's okay, because if a heavy hit comes out, they have the, from the shadows to TP and support towards the A site. Slowly but surely, as you mentioned, a death Race ball out from fear. Shopify. The execution not within this A site, but the line of sight is still out there for Vizera. The double oh, jump. the trigger discipline. And a swing out gets the kill of the Saren TPs away. Paranoid up being thrown on the attack. Shopify Bailey trying to push forward, but the snake bite just slows him down. Georgina gets the kill on to Noya, who's trying to gain some ground on the left side of the connector. And a flank. The flank is on the way, Bastarde. This timing almost deceives her, but that bird should still solidify this flank. Ten seconds Ten left, seconds. but they have to move in for Shopify now. Mel gets the first One entry, but everybody else is falling around her. Only Alexis is alive. Oh. Nice little swings on the left and right, but there's no time left to go even for the plant. And but Team Liquid are showing why they wanted to leave and float Sunset in the rotation. What a curveball. What a curveball. Each step of the way, if it's not the chamber oh, flicking, it's the game five. Let's go. quick on Shopify's heels. And I think right as Alexis went down in that last round, she surely heard those footsteps coming. So I think right now in this timeout, Shopify, they've got to be telling each other, hey, each time we've been grouped, all five of us, we keep getting pinched. We need to utilize our composition. We need to start using this Cypher, spread out a little bit, punish the sniffers so we can gain some map control. We've seen this before from Shopify happen. 
this timeout is so clutch because you don't want to get caught tunnel visioning. You don't want to get caught on the prep that you had leading up into this. It's time to stop, read the room, adjust and react. And adjust, you've just mentioned it. That responsibility has to be on Noya because you're using a lot of that double initiator utility to allow Floresta to gain some space. And as you're making a lot of that noise, they found so much success. If you're looking at G2 success on TL, was actually using Mimi on that middle ground a lot to try to get entries. Daiki's also doing the same thing on this map on the attack, taking middle control of that pillar, getting the flashes out to try to sniff out players on the other end too. But if you're going to give that responsibility to Noya, she definitely has what it takes to get those lurk picks, but they're definitely not using it to her advantage. And finally, we're starting to see something here, but it might be a little bit too late for this round as they have a lower buy for Shopify. We'll see about that. I do like that you say that they are spreading out, and this time around, at least for Shopify, Bastardi isn't ready. Bastardi didn't choose the right site in the beginning of the round, so four members of Shopify group, they want to be able to take this B main control and challenge site chamber. After shock and paranoia, the satchel's coming out from Flores, but instantly Molly on the ground, one way smoke by Iza, close range there with the shorty! Wow. The K comes out from Flores, a denial by Iza, a second one there on to Noya. Finally pitched from behind the Sarah coming in with the stinger. But there's still defenders right within the B site. The cross from behind, the lurk from behind, it's traded out. Works out so far, and we even it up on a two versus two. And Daiki's trying to be patient. She's got Bastarde hot on the flank, and Shopify, they have no idea. Oh! The cape was out, but finally turns back. She gets the pick. Last one to go is the Lexus. Nothing you can really do. Not no liquid. Even a plant on the lower buy. But the silver lining is that it was a half buy. And the communications no, no, coming know. through for Liquid here are solid. I mean, it's just able to allow Bastarde, a player like Bastarde, to visualize and when to press the issue. I said that Shopify, they didn't have a raise to have to deal with in that round, but as soon as contact happens, Raze just starts pushing out A to make that pinch a reality. Go Liquid. The funds on Liquid are so strong right now. The fun the alt, an op still available for Bezerra. We also have a showstopper available for Shopify. Mid control is the play. The late lurk from Noya towards the B main. Jump spawning, getting information, but just trying to clear out the players. Basara's close range, pushing forward from a paranoia. Here we are. Showstopper, no, no, no. double kill by instantly. Alexis answers right back, giving the advantage back over to SR. Full ults available for the remaining players of Shopify exactly. Rebellion. Had also been thrown out to get the information on both Bezerra and Iza. The crosshair being set up, but Iza still wins that fight. Slap from the air is Bezerra onto Fluorescent. And as much information as you've gotten, it got fully denied for the last two players of TL. Fully denied. The confidence coming through. The communications coming through. You saw Bazera immediately bust out the headhunter. She knew they were low. Wanted to apply the checkmate. And now Noya's got to find these 1v1s. For her, both these players are isolated. Oh, unable to find the shot, though. And Bazera once again... Cleaning house there. Man, that was so decisive. I mean, but she had the showstopper that whole time. She knew she was never gonna let Shopify have their way in this middle. Just the heroics. That was two and a half kills. Two and a half kills on that ultimate. And that was well read by Team Liquid all along from that setup of the omen on the top from Jujina. And you see the confidence ringing back in favor of Team Liquid. Smiles now to frowns for Shopify Rebellion. They can't really find an answer yet on how Team Liquid's working their defense. Op now pivoted towards this B site. Vizera handling this very well. Was able to just waste Sarah's time, constantly take out those prowlers before it got any of the deep lines. And Georgina's just popping some shots off. Full retake here for Liquid. They're okay with it. Bastara's already there though. No need to play the retake when Bastara's already within the side. Not allowing oh. Shopify Rebellion to cross this line. They've never crossed the staircase oh. within this B side. And as they do, they're still greeted by Team Liquid and still falling down piece by piece. An opportunity to capitalize on the kill onto Jujina. They'll get it. Rolling Thunder available as well. Oh, what a shot through the smoke from Mela to Daiki. A little bit sloppy coming out here for Liquid. All the advantages no, in their favor. Fortunately for Shopify, 
They've given them okay. their ones. 2v2 here at Mel. That ultimate. That's a Last lot of information. Oh. Now know where Chamber is. Somehow gets the wall bang onto Alexis too. That rolling thunder could have been everything off the information that Mel got from the shadows. And Isa goes for the lurk from behind the backstab. Eight unanswered rounds is what we're currently witnessing out of Team Liquid. I wonder if we can get a replay on that. Did Bezerra just shoot to cancel Mel's ult and then it randomly spammed and killed Alexis? That would be the most unluckiest oh all good Oh my FNS. god. That was insane stuff. Now we have to remember this round was a 2v5. Oh, the gun's sticking out. Oh, the barrel. Crispy as ever is Bezerra with that headhunter, but good effort coming through here for Shopify. That was a half buy, and that was always going to be a challenge. Two versus five. Making it into that site, but some beautiful shots to give themselves a chance. And now Alexis with that Rolling Thunder on board. Four members grouped, and Noya, she's got to be able to punish these pushers. But she gets spotted right away here from that aggressive push. The trailblazer to spot her. That now initiates show the, sh the rolling thunder rather to come out. And as Noya crosses over towards the beam, there's already an alert to fight coming in from Bastarda. Just around the corner is Alexis, though. She might be the saving grace. They don't clear her. She gets the first pick, the flash, then to look back. But the defenders are not closing in. Rotating back towards the market. Plat now coming in from the spawn. Bobo's being pushed by Shopify Rebellion. Counter Seeker is out from the defenders, too, from Daiki. And it's all Team Liquid so far. And Georgina's being so patient on the flank. Not only is the spike not planted for the two remaining members of Shopify, but Georgina's got the check here. Oh. Fluorescent's watching that main. Misses the shot, looks back towards the spawn. Here's that lurk towards the spawn. Oh, Alexis trying to do everything on her own. That's four turning. A 1v1. Tap on his weapon. Walks through the volley, but gets picked up by Mazzara. What a gamble coming out here for Alexis. I respect that play. She knew her opponent knew she was low. She had to take a risk. And she decides to take the molly to try to be the hero for Shopify's side, but... Liquid, Bizera, Bastarda, all these ladies are just so crisp right now. Nine zero, a second timeout coming out here for Shopify in the first half. This is not a position that Shopify have been in all tournament long. They've got to dig deep. They've got to bring out those protocols, all that prep that we commend this team for. This is where they've got to figure it out. Where do you find weaknesses Let's right go, now? Liquid. It's defense. <laughs> Everything that you're trying so far from Shopify, from selling fakes. You talked about trying to get some lurks in. Didn't work out. It was Team Liquid just pressing down towards a main and dominating Noya, who's watching that flank. They're going for plants. They can't hold the post plants. Team Liquid's just looking drilled from A to Z now under defense. Looking very drilled. If I'm Effie's right now, I'm having a conversation with Noya and saying, hey, listen, just get your one. If Liquid push again on your side of the map, you get your one and eventually it will not be worth it for Liquid anymore. We've been seeing a lot of grouped focus efforts coming out for Shopify. They've got to be able to, again, utilize the composition that they have. Alexis constantly trying to find openings for Fluorescent with that fault line. And Noya, she's got to be able to punish these back lines. Shopify look, looking like they have to sniff out once again an ult out from Bezerra. She's going to anchor this pretty much on her own with passive utility from Misa in case she gets flooded out. But Shopify Belly to start things off though, it's a mid control. Hot being thrown out. A lower buy that you have for Shopify. That timeout is not only for this round, but into the next. Satchel's coming forward. Fluorescent just got picked off there by Bastard in the long range game. Nice shot at least to retaliate back from Sarah. Georgina gets information. Oh, <laughs> that was ballsy. Denied by Alexis. And somehow the lower buy becomes the advantage for a short while. Then back onto Sarah, giving hopes back for Shopify. This girl pushed all the way forward, out towards the B main. efforts coming through. And Bezerra just got the tour de force. So many sound cues. Anything. Oh, 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 head the head hunter out, ripped out, and almost got it onto Alexis. But finally, Alexis, she doesn't want this to falter yet. 
a 4K a couple of rounds ago. This time around, winning the game. And allowing Shot to get the first point. And you kind of feel for Bezerra in that moment as well, right? As soon as Chamber gets his own kill, that slow that kind of forms on the bottom definitely doesn't allow Bezerra to re-swing and re-peek and get hers. Great punish for Alexis and that was just W key, right? W key into market, find a quick opening off of Alexis's util. That's good too. A flash to start things off of Nike, breaking the camera right away. Dog to spot two player. She gets hit by her own prowler, but that's good enough. She could fall back. She could call for her teammates to rotate. And as they're pushing forward towards the EMA, they're just gonna anchor that for now over on Team Liquid side. Rolling Thunder coming through. It does catch his Daiki, but she's already on the back lines. But Fluorescent is so quick. Finally, some good satchels coming in here. Hope for Shelf Barbellion to get a good pulse plant. Spotting Iza, long range, hitting that shot as Iza re swings out. A little bit of an overpeak that happened there for Iza, not giving a chance for TL to really regroup. No, no. And as Jujina gets caught off. There is that play. They're starting to understand as well that Shopify like to go for the re-swing back for the pinch at the market. Vizera pushes forward. That's a well-timed paranoia to not allow Vizera to get the kill, to allow Forest to get three into the round, and getting so close to another showstopper. Only one player remaining. It's going to be Bastarda versus a full roster of Shopify. She spotted towards the top of the staircase in the back of Boba. Now, anchored wow. down, staying in there. Noya continues with the push all the way up towards mid to get the second round in for Shopify. Dominant stuff. Prime gaming flawless as well. That's not what you expect, especially with the kinds of rounds that we've been seeing. But finally, an answer for Shopify. And their answer has been this B split from that half buy with Sheriffs through Market, and this time just strong side through that B main. But that was off the back of a Rolling Thunder. Now, Shopify, they don't have that sort of util. And you can see they're changing pace, leaving towards that B. And We'll see if this is a fast opening or a slow one towards this A corridor. Viper's way. pit invested for Issa. Holding it solo. Lots of responsibility in her hands now. And even look at that. So much respect given. Not the same Shopify that I see here there. Don't mind pushing, holding the W and moving as a death ball. They pull back towards middle, where even look at that, we have a full push up from the Zera. Yeah, especially considering that this is the double initiator composition, right? Definitely would have loved to see them poke and prod just a little bit more, but Bizera's getting pushed off the angle, and that means a lot. But starting to find something in mid though. It was a missed time from that paranoid to get info or at least a little bit more off the showstopper. So it turns out to be a one on one. Both duelists down. And with one of the players down on the defense, the neural thugs being thrown out on the attack. That's the information of a 2 2. We know that the Viper is still inside our pit. That the Sky's playing all the way back towards the A. And that forces an early flash to come out from Daiki, but already a second one gets refreshed. Shop of Rebellion, they're looking to move back within the market, but there's a trademark there. And they should have a good idea that. Chamber was opping in this general vicinity. Now, a Vandal in hand. Oh, playing just on the outside of the smoke. Oh, oh, what's oh, in that? Oh, 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 the oh, with the swing. The spray oh, turns her to split down. Noya once again is all alone. She's screaming. She's screaming in the grand finals, Vans, and she gets rewarded with a triple. Noya has to get this spike down, but all three defenders, they're not going to let it happen. They're coming in with the bird. Doesn't even want to stick the spike. She was trying to go for some heroic play, but it's not gonna be anything there for Shopify Rebellion. Isa picks up the last kill and a dominant first half for Team Liquid as they take it 10 to 2. Bizera, I, I would love to see a replay like that once again if we can. Here she is, just biding oh. her time. That third kill, it was so fast. And, you know, the battle of uh, the topic of Chamber versus Cypher, I think it's always going to be there. But I totally get it if you're Liquid and you have a player like Bezerra looking this good on this agent. Absolutely, you want to be able to figure out exactly what's uh, what your strengths are. So let's toss it down to the floor for an interview with the crowd. Hello, hello, I'm here with Coreano. He's a really well-known content creator and streamer from Loud. And I'm going to ask him about the sunset because, oh my gosh, Breeze was so hard for Tim Liquid and the sunset, they're owning it, right? I mean, Breeze was really tough, but sunset, we are playing really good. 
I mean, Bastarda and also Bezerra are doing great rounds, so I think we can close the round and close this match and go to the last match. Ooh, let's see how about that. And you're doing your live stream like from here, right? Like the watch party, and how does it feel? Uh, usually, Riot invites me to do watch parties, so I did it in Lock In and also Champions, and I'm doing here. It's really great. I mean, all the crowd and really. Here in Brazil, I'm Brazilian, so the fans are really great, and I enjoy doing it. Yeah, it's really good. And let me ask you something. Uh, what do you think that Shopify needs to bring their game on? I mean, Florissant is playing really great, but also Mel and Sarah. So I think the team is not doing great on this sunset, but they are doing a great championship. And I mean, it's a five, probably a five-match series, so it's a really show here. And I hope we can close this out for Brazil. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much. And that's up with you guys. See ya. Thank you so much, bud. Indeed, a great show so far. Great showmanship from both of these teams. Don't celebrate too early. They just want to show a map, yep. a dominant map on Sunset because they just want to serve it back to Shopify Rebellion when they actually lost 13 to 5 just previously on Greece. This will be a great way to make it a, as even as it could be if we we're able to go to a map 5 on the set. Yeah, yeah, and we're going to be able to see exactly the strengths and differences of these compositions. Now that we're swapping over to the defense side, you can see that Noya has fully set up towards this A. You can expect Shopify to just transition and pivot into a 4-1, leave Noya to her devices. Issa is really very aggressive right now, all alone towards this B main, but she really wants to figure out if Cypher's setup is here. That's why, just leaning right within the smoke, doesn't hear any trips. So they know that the Cypher is setting up towards the A site, yet Team Liquid are still slowly creeping up, scaling within the right side of the map. I like this play from Liquid, identifying that most teams do like to leave Cypher alone. Such good reads, but Starday has so much ground. That dog is gonna give her information. Paint Shell would come out, but not a single soul in sight. Camera's still up, though. Nobody spotted it yet. There it's it is. Still up. Oh, no. It's still up. Shopify has all of this information right now. Five yeah, the rotates planted. are coming in pretty slow, though. Mel and Fluorescent very nervous about a rat being around in mid. They don't want to get picked off one by one. It looks like all five members of Shopify have to be on the spawn side of the map. The camera gets information on two players within no the site. Time. They know that they're playing towards the outside of the A site. Here comes the flood in from Shopify. The first blood of Fluorescent. Oh then my three, God. actually. But Vizera fights right back. Four in the round. It's only up to one more. <laughs> Fluorescent with what? the ace for Shopify to get the pistol. Fluorescent can't even understand what happened either. She was just W keying in, looking left, right, left, right, and each bullet she hit landed. What the heck just happened? But we have to commend the combo. Sure, Fluorescent got five beautiful kills. Yes, we're <laughs> right. Those were insane frags. But that haunt coming through as that camera was activated and the breach fault line as well. All of these utilities coming in at the right time, at the right place, completely tease up Fluorescent. And if you're Shopify, you need a round like that to get back into this map. One small mistake was so costly. That camera that was set up from Noya. You talked about it. We like to leave the Cypher alone. You gotta break the utility there. And that allowed their Shopify Rebellion to get such an easy pistol. But Team Liquid, they're not done yet. Sheriff in the hand of Isa, spotting one player towards the market. The push forward. Some damage being done from some wall banks from the Bulldog. Out from Mel. Hit by a pair and forced to fall back. But she, she, she still watches that line. Loves this fight. Wants to capitalize off this long range bulldog. A lot of utility being exchanged, and because of all that contact, Team Liquid have B main control now. Oh, so many members! Alexis gets caught off! These are just classics, Vans! Don't let this happen again. Noya trying to push forward. Hit by a flash that's gonna slow down the pace, even a volley. She's gonna walk through it. Vulnerable. Isa looking an inch in to get a heal from her teammates. That's Sarah with the pick onto Isa. An opportunity to come back now for Shopify as players are fully separated. Look at the players on B. Seven They're points, just trying to hold back as much as they can so that Jujina could get the flank. But with That's the classic, points. but the timing is in the favor of Shopify. Slowly closing in within the map. 
Within the site, Dyke is closing the gap. Wow. For two more kills. Oh, look at the floor. And then attack. That's going out. Sarah gets the kill. Oh. And we stop there. We could breathe once again. Shopify gets the defuse. As they're closing slowly but surely the gap. And I think everyone oh, needs no, 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 a breather no, 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 no. after that one. Uh, Holy oh, moly, did Team Liquid make that round close? My goodness. I mean, Alexis, she got one, but all three members just so close. And Shopify were doing a good job prior to that, right? You saw that them constantly popping bullets off, wanted to keep that range between themselves and all those pistols, but their own smoke coming to almost bite them in the booty there. At least able to stabilize. Fluorescent, that showstopper for this bonus once again in map four. Oh, the push forward for us against Knight right away by Bastarda. After shot being thrown, just to try to slow it down for a bit. Alexis is the one that's drilling it out towards the elbow. Beautiful flash, a double swing coming out. But Daiki still gets the kill. What a pain shell. What a trade. Team Liquid. Power in numbers and Jojina with an entry like that. Just close lines. That side anchor is all just down to Noya, and she gets the one, but she just saw a starting tuck in this corner as well. Noya within the site, two versus one. Snake bite though, still in range for Noya to try to get the defuse. And that's the second one, just to confirm it. Now hit and vulnerable. Tizera closing in from behind. Eleven well, now <laughs> Liquid. A dominant attacking half as well. Dominant. Looks like sunsets their map. Dominant indeed. And, you know, even in that round, Shopify, they had the tells, they had the response. They had fluorescent in that vicinity. But too slow to the trigger. <laughs> and Team Liquid, so decisive in these beginnings of the rounds. We'll see if Team Liquid go with this fast pace again because they've been controlling everything, but again, with Double Controller, you do expect them to slow things down a little bit, but an instant smoke down in M1, an instant contact for Bastarda. And with the Double Initiator, though, on Chop of Rebellion's side, they went for a full Force by Alexis only with a sheriff. Look at the maybe leverage a showstopper in the hands of Fluorescent, who just got spotted there. Now instantly comes out with a showstopper, lands it at the feet of Daiki. Pain shells now pushing forward, and that's Daiki also dying with the spike. A big mistake that could be costly, but thankfully, a smoke will potentially allow Tim Liquid to regather and retake the spike. And Issa is playing this round so intelligently, able to creep her way out. Noya's got a good idea that this is a possibility. Pops that cage and she's got to fall back slightly. The rest of the squad for Issa are regrouping back with. And Shopify, they've got to keep their defenses. I mean, you see Sarah all the way on the other side of the map. Alexis is on the way, though. Yeah. But now Bastarda picked up an orb. Plants the spike, has a showstopper available. The timing for Fluorescent to get those two kills. Showstopper, and then back up to Fluorescent. Georgina is now alone. No smokes available, so she could actually play this pulse plant by the staircase up towards the B main. After shock now, as she's forced to TP away. Now looking back here, the flash, the swing out, the pick up from Sarah. Shopify comes in for the defuse, and now they get five. The sound cue is coming through hugely for Shopify. And I'm glad to see that Fluorescent scrimmed it that round. I was going to be afraid that because those rotates were coming from so far away that Shopify were going to try to play this round to perfection, right? And sometimes that comes to bite you in the booty, but Fluorescent found her timing. She knew that the timing was now, and she's decisive with it. And with those kills, Fluorescent also has broken the record for the most kills on the GCC stage. That record is now at 90, I think with this one now at 91, as she's at 15 in work. this map. Impressive plays coming out from Fluorescent. Prowler coming out. The all-star player once again in Fluorescent, pushing forward towards the B main. Okay. Boom bot to get some information. Now pushing Team Liquid towards the A side. Yeah, making them respond and react. We've seen these retake protocols come out for Shopify. Liquid, they've got to have in the back of their minds that, hey, we got to look for this camera. We got to look for what the setup is. Noya's yeah. challenging. Good damage. And a nightfall hit. Nobody there towards the middle. So they know the hit's coming towards the A side, but Bastarda still opens it up. Seeker's available as well. 
if they want to use this on the pulse plan, as it also gets po planted, sorry, for A main. Prowler doesn't catch anything there for Sarah. A lack of information yeah. for these ladies on Shopify. They want to find out where these de post-plant defenders are for Alexis' right. fault line, but that paranoia slows everything down. Such Paint shells delay. as well. Such good delay, but Noya still gets the pick up to Bastardo, is still trying to push forward. Neurotheft now being thrown out for Shopify. Whoa. Alexis now closing in. There's only two players alive. That get only with the classic. As she's now going to be the last player remaining. Easily done there by Shopify Indy. And it looked like it was going to beat Team Liquid, though, with all the utility they had on the Pulse plan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yes, it did Five end up being alone. very easy in the end. But what the heck? How did Shopify make it look that easy? I need you to come <laughs> back and turn my brain on. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I'm scratching my head as well, but it's that Neural Theft that gets all of that information. I mean, look at how aggressive they are after the Neural Theft got thrown there by Noya. But it's off the costly oh. play coming out from pushing behind the Seekers of Bastarda. And which allows here this to happen. Shopify to be at six points and also forcing a timeout for Team Liquid. Ooh. Slow down the momentum. Don't give Shopify any sort of hope going into here but man what a shot for sarah i mean that's always a feel good when when you predict that shot and it just kind of falls into your lap finally some things going in the favor of shopify finally some luck and sometimes that one round of luck is all you need eleven to six is scoreland right now in Shop Fire Rebellion are, they're not, they don't seem like they're flustered off that half. That was a 10 to 2 for Team Liquid. They also have some great protocols playing their defensive side so far. But again, I do have to emphasize that piss around off the camera that Team Liquid didn't break could be the reason why Shopify might be able to bring this comeback. Thankfully, though, with this timeout, you have a gun round available for Team Liquid. A knock, though, comes out in the hands of Shopify Rebellion. It's in the hands of Mel, once again, posted in this position before. But this is a position that is not uncommon for Mel. This is something that Team Liquid could maybe start punishing as well. Exactly. They've got to keep in mind that Alexis, with that cross map help, with that fault line in her back pocket, these are the duels that Mel loves. She wants to re-aggress, re-get back on the line, demand her breach to give her util. Good pop shots, but start a fully aware of what Mel is trying to do. Oh, what a huge haunt. Pushes her out of position as well. So two shots missed by Mel from the market out towards the B link. And that forces out of smoke, a reposition from Mel back towards the B main. But you talked about the 4-1 positioning here for our Shopify that needed to happen. Team Liquid's mm. doing it, and they get the first blood. That timing mm -hmm. was so unfortunate as she tries to gain information, but Starday was just there. Now Sarah tries to scrim, is able to punish. Moves out for the kill onto Iza. Oh. Sees now being thrown towards the elbow, and that's gonna delay it just for a bit. But Starday hit by that one on top of that, so that'll be the cue for Shopify Rebellion to start rotating. Already four players there on towards the A site, waiting oh. for Team Liquid for the smoke to dissipate. And we have this lurk though. We can maybe pivot back. 30 There's 30 seconds left. left, still a lot of time to go back within the B site. Yeah, Liquid, they, that's exactly what they want to do here. Communications coming through. Actually, maybe they want to send Bezerra on the pinch. Yeah. Spike still left. staying towards A, and Bezerra, she needs to find a frag. 20 seconds left, they have to commit. Bezerra oh. cannot find that frag that was needed there for Team Liquid. Now Team Liquid, all they can do is try to run in through smokes. Flash coming out. Oh Georgina will try to do whatever she Georgina. can. She's all alone. But not gonna happen. Denied there by Alexis. Oh, the hope. I was I was gassing her up. I was ready for another Georgina El clutch to come Pento. through. Regardless, as you say, Vans, only five seconds left in the round Pento anyway. Boys. But Shopify not backing down and Again, capitalizing on this composition. I like to see that Fluorescent didn't even get to really play this round as she got wiped out, but still, the support cast coming through huge and the defenses for Shopify holding strong. Nice little tail grind we just saw there from the Penguin Skateboarder, but back into serious business. The off is once again still available for Shopify, repositioned towards the A main. So now they can pivot a lot of players within the top middle. Camera sound cues. Exactly, it's a passive here. play. Yeah, but starting fully aware. They've heard this yeah. camera in this general area before. 
But Sarnia knows it's there. Fine, Fine game. games. Sets the paranoia now for Shop Fire Rebellion. Focusing more players to play the defense within the top of middle. Noya gets that pick. There is that push to come through towards the market. Or is slowly over peaking now for Shop Fire Rebellion. Getting denied by Team Liquid on the lower buy once again that they have. Shares in hand. Guardian though in the hands of Bezerra. Beautiful flash. Allowing Bezerra to get that pick onto Noya. Over committing on pushes. Over punished. Advantage by two players and now move within the B site for a plant. Bezerra so aware that this flank is a possibility. Mel more than likely is just gonna want to save and hold on to this operator if she can. But the more noise she makes, the more Bezerra's gonna hear. Turned around for a bit, but looks like that off is gonna be safe for now. Alexis She's on the hunt though. Bezerra wants across. to punish. Exactly. Alexis is trying to rotate across to meet up with that her teammate. Oh, but Bezerra cuts that rotate. And with that rotate that happens towards the A site, they know that Mel is there somewhere. And Mel has no choice but to take an aggressive angle back and cornered towards the right side of the A site. Bezerra's on the hunt and just runs through. So this will be the up. Saved by Mel, unless the last two players come in at the last Six second. Guns. Nonetheless, a massacre thrifty for Team Liquid to push us to the distance. Oh, wrong read coming out here for Shopify. Unfortunate as well. You saw how committed Fluorescent was to this mid fight. She fully believed in that utility, as you should be, as your teammates are providing that. But unfortunately for her, none of them landed. There were two members of Liquid in mid, not blind, not stunned, and completely punished Fluorescent. Not what you want when you're starting to mount a comeback like this. But at least Mel, we talked about that operator being saved into this next round. She wants to find a deep line. She's switching it up towards this A. In the same spot right now for for Team Liquid, rather. They're not really playing any scan agents, so they don't know who's posted up where towards the A main. Op shot now heard as soon as the smoke went out. So they definitely know that the op is towards the A site. So now, SR trying to push back towards the B main off the assist from Alexis. It's traded right back though from Bezerra onto Noya. That trade was so huge for Bezerra. That, that should have been a get one and get out setup for Shopify. It was so clever and it got them what they wanted, but Bezerra is just on fire right now, able to punish Noya and that's their Sentinel gone. This just completely ruins the defenses for Shopify. <clears throat> they have no choice right now for Shopify but to play the retake within the site. Just within the smoke is Fluorescent trying to walk out, hit by a Paranoia. And it's forced to hold <clears throat> towards Boba. So the plant will come down for Georgina. Planted. It looks like we're not going to try to push towards Boba for the attackers. Yeah, they want to wait for Mel. They have to. The paranoia is in tow. She's That's only got it. an operator in her hands. You can see Flora is also holding onto that paint shell. So a retake protocol coming through here for Shopify. Fluorescent needs this kill for a showstopper to activate. The first one, the first contact. Jump spotting for some information. Sarah to play the bait. There's that first kill. Fluorescent gets the kill on the Dunky. Showstopper lands it right into Basarda. But Basarda got two for her troubles. Paint shell's now being thrown. Spotting. But Zara falling back, but it's still another one swing towards the right side. But we're sticking on the spike. They're spraying up both ends. It's not gonna happen. Georgina with the two kills. We are going into a map five. Wow, Team Liquid just showing up and having oh. an answer every step of the way. That first half was so dominant. That was Bazera and Team Liquid just absolutely stopping everything Shopify had. And we've seen much depth this team and Shopify has coming through in this tournament and Bezerra just says no I I'm gonna headshot all of you and it can't be any better than this the last final map will be decided on ascent after this break